Hello YouTubers, I'm back over here again with another video related to physics. Today I'm going to talk. I'm going to tell you how to uh, demonstrate uh, how to find the mass of Earth. And I'm t I will try my level best to tell you it in the easiest and the simplest way. Uh, let's start with the diagram. Over here, I have supposed that the mass uh, th that uh, suppose that a mass of M is placed on the surface of the Earth. And uh, the mass of the uh, energy is represented by small m, and the mass of the Earth is represented by capital M. Uh, the weight of this body is acting downwards, which is equals to f, which is equals to mg. Uh, the dist uh, the distance between these two points is equals to radius of the Earth. Now, as we start with the derivation, uh, from here we uh, get that according to Newton's law of gravitation, f is equals to g m one m two over r squared. <coughs> Excuse me. Over here, M1 is taken as capital M, which is equal to the mass of Earth, and M2 is taken as the, suppose, the mass which we, have, which we have supposed, which is equal to the small m. And R squared is the radius uh, between the two bodies. Over here, we have taken it as R. So, F is equal to GMM over R squared. From here, as we know that, F is equal to W, which is, e is equal to mg. By putting the value of W, uh, by the putting value, value of force into this equation, we get that mg is equal to g m m over r square, with where m is cancelled by this m, and we are left with this. G is equal to g m over r square. Now we get this from this. Uh, we get again uh, now to find the mass of Earth. We uh, we have that m is equal to g r square by g. Now we get this from this the, by cross multiplying the values. Well, from here we have moved this r square and multiplied by this g and it comes out to be like this now from here this g is taken down over here so that we can uh, 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 separate the mass of the earth now the final answer which comes out to be is this m is equal to g is r squared over g which i have which i have written over here now by putting the values in this equation do we can find the mass of earth now mass is equal to g r squared by g over here small g is the gravitational acceleration of the earth r square is the radius of the earth which is uh, th the distance between the two point uh, two bodies uh, which is which i have marked it as this and g capital g is the gravitational constant which never changes in this whole universe which is, e is equal to 6.67 .6 into 10 raised to the uh, power minus 11 now by putting the values, we get mass is equals to 10, which is this, 6.4 into 10 raised to the power 6, which is the radius, and as, as it is a square, then we'll take it as whole square. And it is over the gravitational constant, which I have told you before that, which is 6.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 11. Now by substitu substituting this va these values, the mass of Earth comes out to be 6 into 10 raised to the power 24 kg. Now, in the final conclusion, I can say that approximately the mass of Earth is equal to 6 into 10 raised to the power 24 kg. Now, I have I hope that you have uh, learned something new from my video today. And uh, yeah, I hope that you will like this video and subscribe to my channel so that I can make more new videos. Uh, till then, uh, uh, I'm signing out from here. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Goodbye.